Are you Collab AI creator user and you are wondering how to grade your raw cameras like red or black magic since the raw data is not supported in a creator version? Well, I have a solution for you. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a proxy workflow and still be able to grade all your raw media. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import our raw media, in my case, R3D files into a separate bin and we're going to name it R3D. Then we're going to go and say, OK, go now into your settings and inside the settings, go into camera raw. And for red, we're going to select raw profile red and we're going to decode using project settings. So here is the color science we're going to need to select. So first color science is IPP2. The color space should be red, white, gamut RGB. Gamma curve should be log 3G10. No blending, no metadata curves. Use embedded audio if there is some. Um, apply 3D LUT, apply CDL, no. We don't want any of those. And then we're going to say decode, decoder settings. Um, I leave here chroma noise reduction uh, to high because it doesn't really slow me down. It just it potentially removes any dead pixels. And then we're going to say use camera metadata and we're going to then select like all four for ISO exposure, just color temperature and tint. So that usually kind of gives us the right settings for decoding. OK, so then what we'll do is we're going to then highlight all of our red media, all of our raw files. We're going to right mouse click and we're going to say generate proxy media. And that's going to go now and do the transcode. OK, so now that DaVinci has created proxy files, you see it says it's finished. Fantastic. What we want to do now is we want to open that uh, place in your finder where this, uh, you know, raw files are stored. And you're going to notice that next to them, there is a new folder and this folder is called proxy. So what you do now is you take that proxy folder and you drag it into your DaVinci. So you should now have a folder with identical files. However, they're going to be in the uh, format of, um, um, you know, whatever your proxy format is. OK, so so we have now two files. R3D files are here and proxy files are here. Excellent. So the next thing then we're going to do is we're going to go now um, to our um, timeline and we're going to go and first drag all of our R3D files onto our timeline. And this is usually the case, like, you know, if you already edited the timeline, you have a timeline ready. So what you're going to do next is um, then you're going to go and you're going to say, OK, a uh, right mouse click and say, conform lock enabled and disable it. So you're going to now be able to reconform stuff. And what you do next is you right mouse click on your timeline. You say timeline and then say reconform from bins. OK, now go ahead and in the window that comes here, you want to select I want to reconform from proxy files. And that is then going to go and relink all of your raw files now to proxy files, select them again and say conform lock enabled. So what you got now is you got now timeline, exactly the copy of it, but just using proxy files. OK, so let's go now and move into Color Lab. In Color Lab, we're going to go and say Fetch from Resolve. So I'm going to just push that. And then it's going to go and um, it's all going to relink. Fantastic. What we're going to do now is we're going to select all the files and we're going to say, hey, red, wide, gamut, RGB. You know, so I'm going to go and say, there we go. Red IPP2, uh, red, white, gamut, RGB. This is really important, you know, that you select the color management correctly. Well, I mean, like you could just go and say, well, you know, here, maybe I want to have something, you know, a little bit warmer or something like that, right? You could do that as well. You could try to match it like this and say, oh, this is actually really good. You know, look, why don't I actually apply this look to this shot, for example, you know, so you could do that. You know, you could also come here and, you know, because this shot is like a moving a lot. 
right? What you want to do is you want to say, well, I don't want to match a, a frame, I want to match a shot. So you change the setting to shot and then you say match. And then um, uh, Color Lab is going to analyze all of the shot, understand, you know, how best to match it. And then it's going to give you the best possible result. Let's see how that's going to work. So there we go. It's just finished. It takes a little longer because it needs to analyze everything. But, you know, actually really, really good match. And then we're going to do the same thing here because, you know, this is like, again, longer shot. She's walking out on a stage. Um, what I'll do is I'm just going to go and again, match it as a shot. So that way I, I have a little bit more precision. I'm, I'm understanding that there is a, you know, a, a longer you know frame that there's a change in in brightness in in framing so you know we're trying to find the best possible match for the whole shot right and there we go so let's have a look now this is looking absolutely fantastic right so that's that's you know just a quick grade you know much faster done like this than you know doing manually depending actually how experienced you are right you know but in most cases this is faster and then you go and say push to resolve so when i do that um, i'm not going to save it for the moment because i'm just you know recording a demo and now it's going to go and update your resolve timeline so if you do look at your resolve now everything now has that grade as a node tree everything's looking absolutely fantastic right Okay, great. However, you want to work again with raw files, isn't it? So what you do now is you highlight everything. You say again, uh, conform lock enabled. So disable it. So that's this little sign tells you that you are able now to reconform. Then again, you go and right mouse click on a timeline and you say, hey, I want to reconform from bins. And this time you select only the R3D file bin. OK, you say that, OK, it's going to relink for you. You then highlight everything again. You lock the timeline, you know, conform lock enabled. And there you go. You're now working with your R3D files that have the same color because you have used, you know, the, the, the proxy file with exactly the same encoding. Right. And everything is just looking absolutely beautiful right you know this is your ungraded media this is your graded media here ungraded graded here ungraded graded everything's beautifully matching right excellent and we're good to go i sincerely hope that you have found this tutorial useful and it, that it's going to help you on your journey to adopt colorlab ai in your workflow sign up for the channel there's going to be more videos and more tutorials coming weekly and if you also want to join the conversation there is also a link below to how to join our discord channel so i'm really looking forward to welcoming you to our color bi family happy grading